because I am on a mission. And I, and I think it's a, a good mission to be on, to bring pollinators back into our backyards. And you do it with incredible flowers like this. Young man, how are you? Hey, what's up? It is so good to yeah. see you. Uh, this is Derek Walleen. He is now fourth generation of the Walleen family that started Roberta's. And Roberta's brings to us right. these wonderful, exotic, really hard to find plants, but they're simple and easy to grow. If you love butterflies, and in particular, monarch butterflies, mm -hmm. this is half a dozen of the, the plants that monarchs need to survive. And the plant, and if I get it wrong, please tell me, it's called Asclepius? You're hopeless, Dan. It's I am Asclepius. hopeless. Asclepius. There's Asclepius. an L in there. Thank you. This is so funny. Derek was beating me up because he goes, no, that's not right. So monarch butterflies right now are are 3,000 miles away. They weigh less than a half of a gram, wow. but they fly 1,500 to 3,000 miles to their winter grounds in central Mexico. That's amazing. They'll start their trek back up here to where we are in the Philadelphia mm -hmm. area in about two weeks, and it'll take them about a month and a half to get here. Wow, why do they ever come back? I, that's a good <laughs> question. But here's the deal. If you don't have these plants in your backyard, they you're hurting their ability to breathe. No, that's exactly true. You know, there's only one plant in the world that the monarch butterfly will lay its eggs on and have its little newly born caterpillars eat. Yep. Uh, and it's this butterfly bouquet, otherwise known as Asclepius. Uh, the thing is, we want these butterflies in our yards for a number of reasons. They're beautiful. They yep. do something with your heart, that dalliance of their magic. Their yes. And we also want to help keep the numbers up. Uh, the butterfly population has been declining. This is the home for the butterfly, the monarch butterfly to plant its eggs, the only one in the world, but, but it's done in a beautiful garden design look because the wild native species are just not that attractive. But okay. what we have here in three amazing colors and they're dwarfed, so you can put them in containers, you can put them in your mixed beds. If I mix them in the bed, they're gonna to grow to about three feet in height, yep. and each plant is gonna get about three feet around. You're getting a half a dozen of them, and these are gonna come back year after year after year after year, just like the, the butterflies themselves. Butterflies are equal mm. as pollinators as would be bees. And without them, I can tell you as a farmer, food does not grow. Exactly. No, that's so true and important. And you know what? I think we underestimate like their value in our own life. Oh yeah. But the thing is, it, when we plant this, they can pick this out of all the scents in the air for miles away, and they will come flocking to your home. Uh, you know, Asclepius is native to North America, but generally they'll get taller than me. And I don't okay. mean this like this is true because they grow the in way, Indiana too. That's pretty darn tall. <laughs> And yeah. they look leggy, They're, they just <laughs> don't look great. But what we have here is a garden variety that's been bred to be short and compact with three vivid bright Older colors. colors. So even if you don't think about the butterflies, you're getting a perennial that comes back okay. year after year that's totally beautiful and tough as nails. But on top of that, you're helping out all the butterflies. We've had over 800 that have been ordered. I wanna show you something. You're getting half a dozen mature yep. plants. I know when you look at these, you go, okay, those are kind of small. No, not they're not. For this particular plant, again, it is the only plant in the world that the monarch butterfly will, will lay its eggs in and allow its offspring then to feed. And for those of us who love monarchs, monarch butterflies are known obviously out in California, but up here on the East Coast, they come to us as well. They're traveling 3,000 miles to get to where they Correct. breed. And if you can set things like this up in your backyard, I don't know, I can't explain it, but it becomes this genetic memory card that kind of turbocharges these butterflies to come back to the same place. That is true, Dan. Not only will I have monarch butterflies this year, but every year they'll after. They'll come back next year. They know about the it. It's, it's wild how they do that. And I want to just tell you, how to keep care of these in the garden. Okay. Um, they love the full hot sun. This is gonna produce tons of those flowers. So put them in areas where other flowers may not thrive. Yeah, totally. Okay. Um, they also need a moderate amount of water, and of course, the butterflies will come. Uh, the thing about these are, 
that the plants themselves are beautiful. They are. They've been bred look to look good in the garden. You know how a leaf sometimes looks like a hand? It's kind of broad. Look how skinny these are. That's, it's like a loaf of bread in green. Yes. Instead oh, no, of, totally. I love instead it. Instead of this, this big fat leaf, they're these wonderful tender tenules. And then the colors are, are vibrant. There's orange and there's yellow and there's a little bit of kind of like a pink in there. And it's the coolest thing. If you've got grandchildren or mm -hmm. youngsters, to be able to see this monarch butterfly and even people who don't know butterflies, the monarch stands out with that oh, yeah. orange it's and It's one black. of the most iconic butterflies yeah, yeah. in the world. Now there's a swallowtail. Yep. Other butterflies will come here for the nectar in the flowers, which is awesome. And you know, we love that. It, everyone loves to see tons of butterflies in their garden. Agreed. Just sit back, relax They're in happy. the summertime. I say, uh, butterflies are like the banjo music of the, the insect world. Oh, you yeah. never hear a depressing banjo song. Definitely, now there They're is happy. the monarch butterfly caterpillar, which its egg was planted only on this plant in the right. whole world. And then that's its meal until it enters the chrysalis stage. So, you know, before it becomes a butterfly, this is the only plant the monarch butterfly can eat. So it, it does grow naturally. It does but grow again, naturally. I got to tell you, the natural plant is not nearly they don't look as nice. attractive. And they don't provide very much shelter for the caterpillars because okay. they're really tall and spindly. These okay. are actually like nice little hotels. Today is the very first day that we have ever made these available with six easy pay payments. I will also say there is a limit to how many we can even present because these are, these are greenhouse grown and garden grown to be able to give you this particular garden quality variety. Over 2,000 of these have already been spoken for. And for those, those of us who really think butterflies are pretty cool mm -hmm. animals, mm -hmm. uh, we get excited about this because what you did is you didn't just put a plant down, you put a landing strip for a specific butterfly day. Yeah, and you know, it, it fits in your garden <laughs> seamlessly, but on top of that, like what you just said, this is a landing strip for the monarch butterfly. Now, I wanna show you something because the plants that you're getting home, they're gonna grow. These six plants are gonna yeah. look just like what you have okay. on the set this first season. That's, that's what you'll expect this year. Yeah, the whole set here is what okay. you're gonna have in the garden from one collection. From You hold up your little guy. So basically yeah, like quickly, that, this is heavy. This probably has like two, <laughs> two to three in one pot. In you one know? pot, right? Beautiful. Now these are dwarf varieties so that you can put them in containers because you know the traditional Asclepia, like I said, they're as tall as me. You can't put them in a small little container. Right, it's right. top heavy. But here they're only about two and a half to three feet tall. That makes them compact enough that you can put them uh, if you want to line your walkway in containers, maybe you want to put them upside your front door. You read my mind. I tell and you, see I, the butterflies exactly as you where walk I want in. The, uh, I, if they sell out, I, I can't even get them. But I want at least two sets. I want to put them at the beginning of my walk bridge across the river mm. on, on my farm on both sides of that bridge. Yes. So that every day when I walk out there to do farm chores, there's, there's butterflies. And it is the most incredible thing that the monarch is traveling 3,000 miles to get to a totally. destination so that it can lay its eggs on this plant. It knows this plant, it knows it well. I think the butterfly itself will be excited because these are much more attractive than the natural. Yes. I'm, I'm going to, are you ready? You'll be shocked. What's that? Almost mortified. I'm going to pronounce it properly. You always mortify me. It is, it's <laughs> Asclepius. Oh, wow. You, there See, is a I brain inside it. that skull. <laughs> I, I love this family, I do. The Walleen family has been bringing us really exotic plants that are more than just plants. They're stories, they're, they're opportunities, and it, it defines your property as a welcome spot for the pollinators. Yes, and you know, I wanna talk a little bit about this because without getting too sad, uh, the, the monarch butterfly populations have been rapidly declining Absolutely. over the years. Just from like, you know, deforestation and building big buildings and all sorts of stuff. Their native home, which is the wild Asclepia, is becoming, you know, non-existent practically. So when we plant these, we're not only making our garden beautiful, we really truly are making a difference in our own realm yeah. of, uh, you know, influence for the yes. butterflies. And if we all do that over the country, it does it's make 
it, the butterfly effect. You it's know what a I'm big saying? Big circle. And l listen, you you make a decision. You choose to be a part of that circle. And when you plant these plants, because they come back every single year, what you're doing is you're affecting future generations of these butterflies. You definitely and are. I, I know our viewers are kind. They're good people. And I, I'm not trying to talk you out of just $18.52, okay? Listen, that $18.52 uh, isn't enough to retire on. But, but you spend the $18.52 and you will have encouraged generational after generations of these butterflies to come back to your yard. That's so and, true. And that, that is an investment in our planet's future. That's, to me, the coolest thing about this. And it also, I cannot fathom how these butterflies fly 3,000 miles to find this particular plant. But if you don't have it in your backyard, you probably won't see a monarch butterfly. No, it's very unlikely that you would because- Here's the crazy thing, if you plant it, you will. I know, I don't know how they find it, but they do. Twitter. And they need to find it because when They're they Twitter. come back north side, they're full of all the eggs that they, they want to lay, you know? Yeah. So they, they definitely need to find these. You know, in case you're wondering, you're going to plant it in the back or something, if other critters are going to get these. These are not well known to be eaten by other animals because okay. they have a particular taste, not to be tasted by humans, which are a little acrid. So don't worry if you have, you know, rabbits. Deers, and rabbits. Deer. It's not totally resistant, but like, they usually right. stay away, so. Uh, just try it. You know, just for the excitement of seeing if you see a monarch butterfly on your property for maybe the first time since you've ever lived there. They're out there, believe me. Uh, imagine, if you will, that you're starving, you're hungry, and you're not just looking for a diner, you're looking for one particular diner that makes the one meatloaf that you live on every day of your life. That's true. That's and you know, kind of if, what this is like. If you got these, I encourage you to get the bounty because I, when you feed your plants, Imagine the monarch butterflies eating those well-fed plants, so they're going to be extra I, I ripped and, butterflies. And they've, what they've done is they've taken all their years, 60-plus yeah. years of expertise, and, and put two different types of fertilizers together. It's all unique. We've had over 2,000 of you. Oh, I'm sorry, over 4,000 of you who have picked them up. This plant will grow where? Oh, the Anywhere. Whole country. Country. Oh, yeah, the whole country. Uh, bring it into your backyard. Please, you guarantee happiness with this one. You know, we do, we love what we're doing, Dan. So we assure your satisfaction with the perennials like we just saw for one year from the time of shipment. You know, if you get your plants home, and I know you, you're gonna have a lot of questions yep. and uh, you yep. don't know how to I garden well. So give us a call. We've got Master Gardeners on the line, or if you need replacements, the shipping went too slow or whatever, you know, we, we're there for you every step of the way. The big key here again, as we put this graphic back up, this is the natural plant that the monarch butterfly lays its eggs in and those caterpillars then feed off of. Take advantage of that price, six of them for $18.52. We've got an amazing today's special value and Pat's standing by to tell you all about it.